everybody, I'm Anna and this is the Anna Nida podcast, knitting and sometimes crocheting podcast. This is episode 114, I think. Welcome to the show. Welcome to all the new viewers. I hope you enjoy the show and welcome and thank you to those of you who return to watch this episode. Thank you very much. Um, you can find me as Anna Lena Nida on Instagram and Anna Nida on Rivalry. And on annanida.com, there's my website. I have an Etsy shop, I dye yarn and I sell opal yarns and I will show you very interesting shop updates, news uh, in this episode. I have finished objects, half finished objects, whips, many acquisitions, as so stash enhancement. And I would say, oh, and the new opal subscription arrived. So I think we should start. My first finished object is a pair of socks. So here's the first one and here's the second one. And this is very exciting because this is my new design. And I hope I will be able to write the pattern uh, this week and I can publish it next week. This pattern is inspired by Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls Online because this pattern reminds me of dragon scales a lot and this is a very easy but very effectful stitch and i think the color is also perfect for a dragon and i have a second finished sock in another color so it's the same collection from Opal. This was in my subscription but it will be available in my shop in October. And here you see how it looks in red. Red is always difficult for the camera but I think you can see it quite well. Yeah, so this is very exciting finished object and half finished object and the pattern will be available in my Etsy shop very very soon and I think you will love this pattern because you will have to look at the chart once and then you know how the pattern repeat works really you, you just know it and maybe you only need the instructions for the numbers cast on heel decreasings increasing gusset and so on yeah so pretty I love opal yarns and yeah they this and four more colors in that style but different colors will be available in my shop in October because I already know that they are part of a collection okay and I love the feel of the sock it's very nice on the leg my next work in progress is a blanket and again <laughs> with this blanket I need your help I need your help. I listened to you and I decided to keep this an opal blanket, opal only. And I, oh, I want to show you my new knitting needles. And I bought new needles for this blanket because, you know, I wanted to have a fancy pair for a fancy project. And I bought the Zings, but they are straight needles, you know, like in grandma's times but they are a little shorter than the usual straights you get. And then I was so happy with these needles because I was surprised they are so slick and fast in comparison to the first set of zings I used as DPNs. They were grippy like bamboo needles. So I tried it again and they are very good. Very nice needles, very fast needles. The nice thing about them is this silver part is as slick, as fast, as higher, higher sharps. They are the fastest needles I have ever used. But the red part is slightly less slick, slightly. And that makes it the perfect knitting needle. And here are the stopper at the end. Very nice, very inexpensive, very fancy. I don't like this red so much because it's such a signal red, but every uh, size every needle size has a certain color and this is two and a half millimeter okay 
And with those, I was knitting on my blanket and all of a sudden I thought, oh no, it's not pretty. And now I'm not sure. <laughs> I am not sure. Is this white fitting? I mean, this is very pure white. It's not wool or natural white. Like this one, this is a little creamy. And now I'm not sure if it's pretty. I know some people use black, but I don't want to have that at the moment. Do you think I should use another white? I would have to turn this into a pillow or so if I decided to change the white, but I... I don't know. I'm not sure. Please help me. Please help me. Is this white too white? Too hard? Please help me. I don't know. Is it too poppy? Too... I don't know. It looks so hard. Don't you think? I'm not sure. Please help me. So please let me know what do you, what you think about this white. Should I keep it or change the white? So I would I wouldn't unravel it because I have already woven in the ends and the way I weave my ends in they are and you can you can't change that. You can't return that. I'm not sure. This blanket should be very very pretty because I love the system of this blanket very much. So, I would prefer to start over now instead of being half finished or even finished and deciding I don't find it pretty. I'm not sure. I am really not sure. What do you think? I'm not sure. I have taken photos. I have went to different rooms with different lights. I put it into natural light. I wrapped it around me and was going to the mirror <laughs> how it looks and I can't... I am not sure. Okay. That is my whip. Um, now I want to show you the new Opal subscription. Opal subscription. Okay. It came today very early so it was delayed anyways so but um, I received the email yesterday that they shipped it and today I received it so if you consider that it was very early and I love it I love it okay number one and I think I saw this in in, an, in a mini you know the minis I sell in my shop it's very interesting and I I think this was in a mini as well. This is also very nice. Now, the most, the prettiest, the absolute prettiest one and not typical opal. Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> this is so pretty. This is more typical opal, these darker colors, but this is so feminine and pretty. I love that. This one as well is very pretty. Now we come to yeah, okay. Because I'm not I mean it's pretty, but I'm not the biggest green fan, but for a green it's very pretty. And the last one this will be a boy color, so this will be a pair of socks for Tommy, I think. And I have to say, I don't like to knit the dark colors, but if the socks, when the socks are finished, I would love to have the pair, because they go with everything. So we got interrupted, for you it's only a second ago, and I had to charge the battery. Now I'm back. And I remember I showed you my Opal subscription yarns and I would try to show them all in one picture. Here they are. I really like them. I really do. It's so much fun. It's this... I have other acquisitions to show you and <laughs> it's becoming ridiculous because 
it's so much sock yarn and I don't know um, I'm not the fastest knitter in the world so I don't know <laughs> when I will get through all the yarn but woo. but yeah it's just fun you know it's it's okay it's I don't smoke I don't go to discotheques I don't spend that much money on other things so I think it's okay and then uh, with the subscription I also ordered one ball of this I have another one of this color already at home but I will make socks for my mother-in-law out of them because that is her favorite color and when I saw it in person I thought oh my I need that <laughs> it's such a happy color and you don't get pretty yellows often and another additional purchase with my subscription is um, Autumn Melody it's the name of the collection um, oh Maronenduft I really don't know what that name is in in English but the colorway is 11125 and it is so pretty I can't say that I see autumn in that skein or in that ball but it is such a cozy soft color I really like that and that's not all to be honest <laughs> let me put my opal subscription away and then I show you my other acquisitions okay some parts of the next acquisition is for designing something but I will show you the other yarns not for designing first okay this is um, the Schaf Pate, Schaf God Father, whatever collection from Opel. So this is completely made in Germany from sheep and shepherds from Germany and produced and hand, uh, hand dyed, <laughs> dyed in Germany and everything. So this is very nice. This is so pretty. And this is the wisdom of, sh of sheep, the colorway is called. And let me see. It says sport, but I don't know why because it's obviously fingering weight yarn. And the color is 9756. And it's Schaf Pate number 11. Yeah. And you support German Shepherds when you buy these. Yeah, and then. Okay, something funny happened. Um, I'm I sold out on the Opal yarns from the beauty collection I had in my shop and by accident I wasn't putting away one of the balls Tommy requested a pair of socks out of so I had to buy them myself uh, <laughs> directly from Opal so I bought this I had this in my shop but you were quicker than I was <laughs> um, so this is from the beauty collection so it's very soft it's not itchy at all it is super ultra soft that's for Tommy and then, you know, usually it's, I'm doing it like this. If I want to have something, I give myself a little time to think about it. And if I still want to have it in a week or in two weeks or whatever, depends on the amount of money I want to spend. I wait longer or less. Um, and then if I still want to have it, I buy it. Um, and I came across these colorways several times, several times. They are from the Memories collection. And they were part, part, two of them were part of the Opal subscription before I subscribed. And then I decided, now or never, you buy them now. Number one, isn't this pretty? This is called um, Happiness on the Pony, 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 whatever, Pony Yard, Pony, whatever. <laughs> and this one is so lovely this is called my first big love when when I think back opal was always so on the heavy colors like um, like these very dark and strong contrasts and now they are so feminine it's lovely and the last one 
I came across this one so many times as well. It's called my favorite... Oh, I know the word. You know the... Toy... Uh, toy... Pets... Children have, they cuddle with it, it's soft and... Yeah, my favorite whatever. <laughs> and it's this color. And he, oh, I, I didn't show you how they knit up. Number one. And here you see they are, they have micro stripes within bigger blocks of uh, striping. And now I want to show you the acquisition for one of my designs I have in my head. You only have to imagine there was a white ball of yarn as well. And this is the Opal Unicolor um, collection, so to say. And I think you can imagine that it is something Christmassy I planned for you. Yeah, there is this idea in my head. I won't tell you details yet. I still have to check the some things and decide and... But as soon as I know more, I will give you all the information. That was my acquisition. And <laughs> because Opal had delays, problems with COVID and broken machines and um, um, yarn shortage and the delivery problems, the next shipment will be here very soon. It will be here in May, usually in the middle of May, so in one and a half month. <laughs> so I will receive another set of six balls of yarn. But now I want to show you the new Opal collection that came out just recently and I will have in my shop. I will update the shop already a week before you see this video. I hope there will be yarns left. With my last up shop, shop update it was like this, so I was sold out after a week. So I hope you still see them. If you want to be informed beforeha beforehand, uh, I recommend you going to my web web website, anna.nida.com, and on the upper right hand corner you can subscribe to my email list. I always send out a newsletter informing you about the shop update, so um, yeah, you should do that. The new collection is amazing. The new collection is called Wasserwelten, Water Worlds. I would, I would call it in English, Under the Sea. And the colors are, every single color is amazing. Two of them were in my Opal subscription a few months ago. I will show you the, the two that have been part of my collection. So my, my Opal subscription and this is one. I made a pair of socks for Tommy out of these. Do you see how they knit up? And this one was in the collection. Here you see the pretty deck. It is so cute. And they have so funny names. This is called Sandbank. Okay, I can tra trans translate that. And I haven't knit this up, but I have this in my Opal subscription stash. This is, I put it aside immediately because this was my favorite um, color from that specific shipment. And this is called um, Shell Silver. Okay. Last week in the questions and answers tag, uh, I had the question, do you have an Easter whip? And now I decide this yarn will be my Easter pair of socks. I mean, seriously, this is so perfect. This is called uh, sea seagull laughing. This is so happy. I love this. I guess this will be the first sold out, I'm, I'm sure. And there is another colorway, I'm pretty sure that's, that will 
sell immediately. Uh, well, two or three, actually. Uh, I don't know how to translate this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ta-da! This is, this is so ocean-like, you know? Amazing. And, oh... I, maybe I should put one aside <laughs> for myself, because this is everything I love. So much fun. This is also an amazing. Hey, wait, can, maybe I can translate the. No, I can't translate it. Sorry. That, that's. I don't even know what this is. What this German word means from this kind of way. <laughs> this is also very nice. A very good boyfriend husband color. You know when we knit socks for our loved ones. And this one. Can I translate this? coral cave and one of my favorites the, the name can I translate it what is a val in English oh dear no I don't know this from the top of my head now sorry but the color is so happy it could be an Easter cast on as well You see how it knits up? So I haven't decided yet which to keep. One of one of these two, because I can't keep both. Otherwise, you know, I have already a big stash. <laughs> yeah, they are so nice. And this one. And this one. Okay, I won't show them again. <laughs> that is my uh, shop news. I am already preparing packaging the Christmas in July uh, calendars so I closed the pre-orders I prepare them now I pack the minis and label everything and found the Bible quotes and it is so much fun I'm eating uh, Pfeffernüsse it, I don't know I don't think you call it pepper nuts so it's um, a Christmas treat <laughs> A Christmas cookie while I pack them and uh, okay I, I usually watch the Daily Wire but also I also listen to Christmas music I'm honest because it's Christmas in July and I have to be in the spirit for that you know so yeah stay tuned for the release of my pattern for my sock pattern I'm so tempted to tell you how these socks will be called I'm so tempted but I won't. I will keep it a secret. I will still keep it a secret. Stay tuned for that. Um, and I, I oh I no this uh, yeah I received something. It's also stash enhancement, but it's cross stitch. I received something from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I take part in their year long stitch along under the sea. You know here it's a theme. It's really a theme in this episode, <laughs> and. Unfortunately, it came with delay, but they were so amazing. The first package hasn't arrived yet, and I contacted them. Oh no, I'm so nervous because the um, sale already started on the 25th of March, and it wasn't here three days before, and I was already getting nervous. And they checked the shipping updates and realized it might gotten lost or something. So they shipped without charging me a second um, kit. And that arrived after like a week or half, one and a half weeks or so. And here is the kit. Yeah. And it's the Ada set with DMC floss and needles and so on. I'm looking forward to that very much. It's not like that I have finished every picture I already have. Not even from the frosted pumpkin. But... I couldn't resist. I really wanted to take part in a some kind of along, but knit alongs are at the moment a little bit dif difficult for me because I write them and I host them, so um, that's a difficult thing. And when I knit, I usually design or knit my what yeah what I really want to do now, like socks and so on, and then and, and knit along is too much. Um, crochet along didn't came across and stitch along is easier because cross stitching is a little faster than knitting especially the the cells from the frosted pumpkin 
Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And the first clue was actually, if you consider that you have a whole month to stitch that, very small. I can show you here. So I think it's doable. But I, I won't set myself under pressure to finish it every month. Yeah, but it's nice, you know, be in a community, stitching along together. And I really like the patterns of the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. They are so cute. And now I will wrap up everything. You know, I'm a week before you now, so you are a week ahead. Um, I have to clean everything, take out the dog, eat something, and then the work goes on because I have a Zoom meeting tonight. And yeah, and... and there is so much to do. <laughs> shop update is to I have to prepare the shop update and everything. So and I want to write a newsletter. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, and tomorrow I will pick up my wedding dress. So, oh man. So when you watch it, I have already picked it up a week ago. <laughs> and all the exciting things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being so patient um, and stay with me. I'm looking forward to see you next week for Blanket Talk. I think it's Blanket Talk, yeah. And I'm wishing you a lovely, happy knitting and crocheting and stitching time. And yeah, yeah, we will see each other next week. So bye bye.